Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again to another Clash Royale video and today we're gonna be discussing about the new Clash Royale update, basically the new balance changes that were announced yesterday. I'm sorry I didn't have this video earlier but actually I was sleeping at the time that Clash Royale announced those but better late than never, right? So let's get started. If you go to your inbox over here you're gonna see this. Balance changes coming on the 24th of August so they are not live yet. First and foremost as you can see they did nerf the Royal Giant, but that nerf is ridiculously retarded. Speed decreased to 1.7 seconds from 1.5 seconds. This is not a big nerf. The Royal Giant needs to be nerfed drastically. But moving on, something that I'm really hyped for is that the Zap Spill, they actually decreased the stand duration from 1 second to 1.5 seconds, which is a huge thing. The Zap Spill is a card that not only damages the opponent's cards, like the Fireball or the Arrows, but actually stuns them as well. So the fact that they cut uh, the stand time down to half is a pretty big nerf and I really want to see how this is gonna work after the balance changes because this Zapspool is literally the most used card. Everybody is playing with this Zapspool. And moving on to the Princess, they did actually nerf the Princess as well. Area damage radius decreased by 25%. She did have a big radius, so I'm happy about this nerf. Moving on to the Ice Wizard, they actually decreased his hit points by 5%. Not a big thing, because nobody actually uses the Ice Wizard for his hit points. Everybody uses him because he can actually slow down the opponent's troops. Moving on to another legendary uh, nerf, they actually nerfed the Miner as well. The deploy time now has been increased to 1 second from 1.5 seconds and they decreased his hit points by 6%. Quite a big nerf and I'm not at all happy about this because it's not even a month since I last bought the miner so Supercell why are you hating on me? If not the best card in the game one of the best cards in my opinion. Also they did a small buff to the baby dragon hit speed increased to 1.6 seconds from 1.8 seconds and again they buffed the Dark Prince. They keep buffing the Dark Prince so much. Like in every balance changes, they keep buffing the Dark Prince. Now his uh, damage has been increased by 7.5%, which is a big percentage. Moving on to the Bowler. I don't know if it's a buff or a nerf. They decreased his Elixir cost from 6 to 5. They actually decreased his hit points by 7%. And they also decreased his damage by 10%. I'm not a big bowler fan, so I don't really give a shit. Moving on to the Lumberjack, his speed has been increased to very fast from fast. He's gonna attack faster now, cause they increased his hit speed from 1.1 seconds to 0.5 seconds, but they also decreased his damage by 23%. As far as the log goes, they did decrease uh, its cast time by 66% and travel speed increased by 20%. And since they actually nerfed the zap spell, I expect to see many people use the log now. About the golems, a very very underrated card, I don't know why people do not use the golem, but actually they did slightly buff the golem, hit and death damage increased by 5% and also hit points increased by 1%. And for the Golemite, hit and death damage increased by 8%, hit points increased by 3.2%. They did buff the P.E.K.K.A as well, slightly 5% damage increase and the Tombstone can now spawn skeletons faster from 2.9 seconds to 2.5 seconds. Finishing the list, the Archers have gotten a damage increase by 2% and also the Prince has gotten a damage increase by 2% as well. So to sum up, many big changes with this balance update. The ones that I'm mostly worried about is the Zapspool uh, nerf as well as the Princess nerf and the Minor nerf. And I'm really happy because they actually did buff the Dark Prince, the Normal Prince and the P.E.K.K.A. This is gonna bring back the old P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince deck. I still use it, it's been effective for me, so even better now that I buff those cards. And one last thing to close off this video, the Royal Giant nerf that we had is not a nerf, this is ridiculous. We should get a damage decrease or something, because the Royal Giant is so overpowered. Every fucking retard in this game actually uses the Royal Giant and can manage to win. And also from Supercell, expect a new update soon probably with those tournament changes that they have talked about or even more new cards. So that's gonna be for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And see ya in the next one. Play the game and I'm still the same and I never changed just to get a deal, but I'm ballin'. I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's